Hello, this is Brad, and I am with Mid-Continent Public Library. Welcome to our scanning app series, where we look at free mobile apps that can be used to scan documents using a smartphone. You don't need a copier or a scanner, just the smartphone that you likely have nearby or are using to watch this video. This can be handy when you need a digital version of a physical document. Maybe you had to sign a document, but now you need a digital version to email to someone or to text or to upload somewhere. In most cases, taking a scan with a smartphone is as simple as taking a picture. All of the apps that we are going to look at in this series are free, and today we are specifically looking at the Google Drive app. If you have an Android device, it is very likely that you already have this app installed on your device. This app is also available on Apple products like iPhones and iPads within the Apple App Store, although some of the functionalities are a little bit different. It is super simple to use the Google Drive app to scan, and it has some features that allow us to edit the document before saving it into PDF format. Let's go ahead and get started with the Google Drive app. Today, I am using a Samsung tablet, an Android device. First off, I need to locate the Google Drive app, which is this button right here. Google Drive is an app that allows you to store different documents and files on your Google account. So let's go ahead and click on it. And if I have not done so, I will need to sign in with a Google account. That is one limitation of this app. You will need a Google account in order to utilize it. So I would go ahead and enter my Google account here. Maybe that's a Gmail or some other Google account. And then continue. And then here I am in my Google Drive. And there are actually two places I can access the scanning feature. The first one is by tapping this plus sign. We can see the third option says scan. And there is another way to do this. This camera button over in the bottom right corner is actually made just for scanning. So if I tap on that, it's going to open up my camera and allow me to start scanning documents. I will need to grant access to the Google Drive app to access my camera. It's likely if you have an Android device, you've already done this, but if not, you will need to select OK and then it is going to open up my camera so I can scan a document. I can do auto capture. What that does is it will automatically look for a document and take the photo. If I select manual, then I have control over when I take the photo. So I want to go ahead and get my document lined up on my screen. And since I have manual selected, I will tap this button myself and it will take a scan of my document. And there is my scan. If I need to crop this a little bit, I can. If I want to remove any place where I captured part of the surface on which I took my scan, I can do that by dragging the corners of this. Also from this menu, I can rotate my document. If I select no crop, that shows me the entire surface area when I took the photo. And then automatic crop was that automatic crop that the Google Drive app applied to my shot, which I can modify by clicking and dragging the corners. When I am happy with this, I will select apply. If I have additional pages to scan, I can select this plus sign down here. And when I do that, it does switch back to auto capture. So it is trying to auto capture my document. And so once I hold this steady, it will automatically capture this for me and take me back to this editing screen. If I don't like this and I want to retake it, I can select the retake button over here that will delete this page and then reopen my camera to take another scan. Let's go ahead and get this positioned here. 
Oops, it looks like I accidentally got my fingers in that shot. If I wanted to, I could retake this, or I could use this clean tool over here. This allows me to remove my fingers or any stains from the shot. I just select my brush and then brush over my fingers. There's a little stain here as well. Let's go ahead and get that. And it will scrub out those elements that I have used the clean tool on. If I tap apply, I will save those changes. And then here I have my document. There are a couple other ways we can modify our scan in the Google Drive app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the filter button from the right hand menu. Right now I have no filter on here. If I tap on auto, it will show me the automatic scan filter. There's also a color option as well. It might be hard to tell, but the pen that I wrote my signature with is actually blue. So if that mattered, I would use the color option. There's also grayscale as well, which looks kind of similar to the auto. I'm gonna go back to the auto actually. I think it has the most scan-like filter. I did have kind of a shadowed portion of my page on the right hand side. Selecting the shadows button will actually remove that. And then if I like how my filters look on this page, if I tap apply to all, it will actually apply those to each page of my document, which is great. That will keep everything looking consistent and I won't have to go to each individual page to make these changes. There we go, looking nice and consistent. And before I exit this screen, I do need to tap apply to save the changes. Apply basically just means save on this app. Okay, so here is my document. I can also reorder my pages. If I click and drag this thumbnail of page two, I can change that. So now the shorter page is page one and the longer page with my signature is page two. And I can move that back if I want to just by dragging the small thumbnail of that page over the other one. If I had a third page to add, I could tap the plus sign down here. And this is why you have to be careful with auto capture. Even if I don't position the document how I want to, it will take some scan. That's not very helpful, so I'm going to select delete. Unlike the retake button, delete will just delete the page. It won't reopen your camera. And so this is my document. I've applied some filters, I've cropped it, I've cleaned up the document where I needed to. Before I select done, I want to make sure that I have applied all the changes I want because I will not be able to modify the document using any of these crop or filter features once I have selected done. It will be saved as a PDF that I cannot modify. So if I'm happy, I will go ahead and tap done. On this screen, I can rename my scan if I want to. I am going to name this scanning documents. And then below that, I can select where I am going to save it. The default is my drive, but if I select this back arrow, I can see more options, including computers and different places within my Google Drive. Once I have selected where I want it to go, I will tap save. And then there we can see it in our Google Drive. And the simplest way to send it is by clicking the three dots over to the right hand side. And we do have a lot of options for sharing within Google Drive, but the simplest in this context is going to be to tap send a copy. And this is going to bring up a list of apps that we can use to send this. We can send it via email. If this was a phone, we could text it to someone. I'm going to tap Gmail and then it is going to attach my scan as a PDF that I can send to whoever it is that needs to have this. Let's go ahead and go back. I do want to show you other options we have under that three dot menu. I could share it with someone, which is a common feature of Google Docs. I could download it, save it to my computer. Like I said, the simplest way is probably just going to be to tap send a copy. I could rename it from this menu as well. 
And if I scroll to the very bottom, I also have an option to remove this scan if I no longer want it. Like I said, we can no longer modify the document through the cropping and filters, but if I tap on it, I can mark up on the document. I have this pen icon over here. It will allow me to use markers and highlighters. Here's the highlighter. So I could highlight individual lines of text that I want to bring attention to, or I could use the pen as well. There is a back button if I want to remove something that I have done. And there is also an eraser as well if I want to erase certain parts of the markup that I have made. I can change the pen's thickness and its color. Selecting this plus sign will show me even more colors if there's a specific one I want to use when marking up my document. And these changes will be saved to my PDF. Tapping this I button down here will show me what the document looks like with and without the markups I have made. The highlighter also has options to change its thickness and color. And when I'm done, I can select Save. And if I scroll down, I can see the markups that I made to my PDF. And so this is how we can use the Google Drive app to scan a document. It's a great option for anyone with an Android device. And like I mentioned, this is also available on iPhones and iPads. Initially, the setup looks pretty similar. Once you get to a certain point, the editing features are actually going to be different and look very similar to using the Apple Notes app. If you want to learn about that, be sure to check out our video on the Apple Notes app to see how you can use it to scan as well. This is how you can use the Google Drive app to scan a document using your smartphone's camera and make slight modifications before you send it to whoever needs it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our MCPL360 Facebook page we premiere new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And if you missed the premiere on Facebook, you can watch all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our MCPL Mo YouTube channel. This has been Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.